What's going on, Pokemon Fan Club? It's been almost two weeks since Paul D. Evolved dropped, and I haven't had a chance to sit down and really enjoy this set yet. The market for it's been a bit unexpected, and we'll talk about that, because today I've got 36 sleeve blisters to crack, and I want to see if I can outpull what's expected in a booster box. Place your bets in the comments right now. Let's take a look at this heaping pile of goodness and get to ripping. Here's my huge pile of Paul D. Evolved I got from Game Nerds. They were $3.37 a pack. Uh, they gave me a, a really heavy amount of Ting Lu here and like almost no Quack of All for some reason. Uh, there's a lot of Meow Scarada and, uh, you know, Chien Pao. Not too many of, the, of him. So anyways, I said I got booster bundles. Here's what I got so far from my booster bundles. I left in the rares. Um, some of these are great, especially Bax Caliber, Tinkaton, one of my favorite. Um, my first box had nothing but this Whooper inside. Uh, and the second box had Fortress EX and Ting Lu EX. Then the third box had Ting Lu, and that was it. Then I got another Fortress in the next box. And then and a Caparaja as well. And then uh, I, the best box had the Fairgraph Illustrator Rare and the Quack of All EX Full Art. Um, and then the last box had a Pikachu and a Skeleton Dirge. So not super fantastic. Not terribly not what I would have expected except for that first box with only the whooper. That was that was a pretty terrible box uh, and set the tone pretty bad for this set for me. Um, you know, when you open those first packs, you're always hoping... that was That's 30 packs, by the way. Uh, five booster bundles. When you open those first packs, you always have your hopes really high. And then when it doesn't pay out, then it's quite a bummer. So I got all these here. This is going to be kind of a pain to sit here and rip these all for you. So I think I'll do this first one here, and then I'm going to get all the rest out of the cardboard, and we'll start getting to it. But let's go right off with the first one here and see what we got. We got Shinx, Miss Magius, Bramblegas, Toxicroak. We got Wigglytuff, Frigibax, and Harry Yama. All right, let me uh, let me knock these out of uh, all of their cardboard and stack them up. I think I worked up a sweat getting all of these out of their sleeve blisters. We got a pretty good even distri distribution of the different pack arts. Um, a couple of them had a couple more, but all in all, it was pretty similar. Uh, unlike the, uh, you know, the, pa the, the paper on the outside, I've been really looking forward to this rip. I, I'm still liking this set. Uh, I think that we're all going to look back and wish we got more of this. Um, but only time will tell. We got Spiritomb. I hope that doesn't lock us out of any hits for the rest of, of this uh, rip here. I was kind of wondering if I should just uh, only record. Nice! Right off the bat, we got a gold! Oh. Code card, code card. Don't worry, all the code cards will be going out. Even though I play the game every day, many games, <laughs> give you guys all my code cards. After a month or so, I start redeeming them all to see if you took them or not. And usually you take them, so good on you. Nice Tinkaton reverse. Chien Pao! And that's the deck I pretty much play every day. I gotta get used to giving the code card out from the back uh, now that they've switched the packs up. So many awesome cards in this set. I've been following an exact 10 cards 
since the first day this uh, came out. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what the 10 cards are, but they're lower value. Um, and in fact, they were so such low value. They were on release day. I could have bought all 10 of them for $36. Since then, it would cost me almost $60 to get the same exact cards. So they were all sub $4 cards, and now it's kind of a mix. And we got the GNU Full Art. Very nice. So far, we're doing great. That is a tiny bit off center, but that's all right. It's going in the binder to, to complete this set. Obviously, I hope to get an Iono in here because that will make completing the set a lot easier. The expensive one, uh, even the, the $40 one. Here's that card. Man, is that cut badly. Beautiful Tyranitar. There we go. Nice. That has since dropped quite a bit. Um, it had gone up pretty crazily. No one's going to pay me $80 for that overcut card, that's for sure. Um, <laughs> but he has since dropped down. I can't remember what he's at now. The $20 range, I believe. And, um, you know, obviously Magikarp is just bonkers at uh, 80 bucks. If I pull one of those, to be honest, I, I've been thinking about this a lot. If I pull one of those, I'm gonna throw it on the marketplace. If I can get 80 bucks, I just, I just don't see it staying there. You know, I could be way off. I thought that it would be 10 bucks or less by now, but I guess uh, news travels, news happens so fast, right? We're already talking about end of year sets holiday calendars coming out um you know it's like we're already on the next thing and it's only been less than two weeks since this since this set came out but people are thinking about the next thing they're not buying this anymore they're not ripping it i don't know they're saving their money they hate the set i know a lot of you hate this set um I personally really like it. A lot of great hits in it. We got Belly Bolt. I got to get all the Tinkatons. Uh, I don't want to pay $30 for them because, you know, I think it's going to come down. But that's just me. We'll see what happens. I own is a very playable card. Nice. Another Pikachu. And, uh, you know, that's going to keep the price high. So, it might be a while. I think I saw the, the lower I own is about $40 now. I could be wrong. Tinkatuff. We got Rabska in the back. So far, so good. Getting... Tyranitar for the binder. Chi Yu. I would love to get that Chi Yu full art. Um, I don't know what we call it anymore. Double Gold Star. Uh, just because it is one awesome looking card. It's, it's almost hard for me to believe that it's only going for, I think, $17. Um, that, chi, that Chi Yu. Gorgeous, gorgeous card. Um, but, you know, that's what it is. We got Iono. Those Ionos are going for a couple bucks. Sandy, Sandy Gas. A Dragon in the back. So far, we got two Illustrator Rares. If you get a booster box, you're pretty much expected to get three. So if we get three or more, then we've done as good as, as a booster box or better. 
Coolidge. Coolidge. I need to get a reverse um, Mistrevis for my Mistrevis collection. I have pretty much every single Mistrevis card, but I don't have the new reverse yet. So hopefully I'll get that today. Obviously, there's the Mistrevis. I need the reverse. Obviously, it's not an expensive card, um, but you know, I'd like to pull it. Beautiful Pikachu and the Gyarados in the back. We got our gold card that we would get in a booster box. I think we're gonna need a big, a big hit. We're gonna need some more EX cards. I think five is is the going rate. Um, we got Tinkaton. We got lots to go. A nice full art trainer would be great. Strevis again. We got Harry Yama. Still lots of packs left, but I've got to say I'm getting a little nervous about. Uh, Hit, hitting what we need to do you know 12 12 hits is what you pretty much expect in a booster box so i don't know let me know what you guys are thinking about this set are you just like forget it i'm moving on nice quoxley illustrator rare do you hate it because uh it's cut like crap <laughs> so overcut undercut and uh, the quality control is just severely slacking. You can get some seriously good deals. You can get booster boxes of this for a hundred bucks. Um, if you buy six, we got Squawkabilly EX. That's uh, four EX so far. I would expect pull rates to be pretty much on target, but I'm hoping that, you know, maybe just depending on how they pick them out of the out of their box, they come in a box of 144, they could they could just grab randomly. It could be in my favor or it could be very much against me. Mimikyu, we haven't seen him yet. I haven't figured out what binder I'm gonna collect the collect these guys in I got the vault X binder for the uh, for the first set they, uh, they they tend to they're pretty nice binders but with the specialty ones that are for the set they kind of come out too late Obama snow I feel like we're not getting a lot of repeats on the uh, the rares even We've seen one Mimikyu, one Obama Snow, one Hariyama. Or actually, we got maybe we got two Hariyamas. So I, can't, I think that's what I pulled in the very first pack. We got Orthworm and Wigglytuff. Don't think we've seen him. What are we getting down to? 9, 12, 14. Let's finish off Meow Scarada. All the three starters have fantastic artwork cards in this set. I know they don't have the nostalgia factor, but uh, they are pretty cool. Got the Slow King EX. Very cool looking EX card. I think that's one of my more favorite. EX cards in this set with the terrestrial eyes. He looks pretty good in that picture. Nice evil terrestrialized stone on top of his head. Yeah, I'm kind of bummed I don't have any Pokemon 151 to rip, but I am not paying those crazy prices. That is just absolutely insane. I, I really thought about it just to have it to rip for the channel. But I feel like I'm sort of setting a bad precedent by buying it at such a, an insane price when, uh, you know, 
eventually we'll get a box. We just gotta be patient and wait for it. You know, just like everything. Nice Bax caliber. I'm thinking about making that uh, Chien Pao set. Let's go play locally. That's what I play mostly these days. It does really well. I don't always win, but more often than not, I win, which is kind of how it goes with the TCG player. Weevil. Last clock of all. We got Mankey. Vigoroth. And another Weevil, back to back Weevil. Not cool. Last nine. I don't know. Not sure we're gonna do it. We did get three Illustrator Rares, so that's on point. We did get the Tyranitar. We did not get the uh, Magikarp, unfortunately. Uh, I just, in my heart, I just felt like Magikarp was gonna be in here. And, uh,. We've now got six EX cards, so we kind of hit it on there. We got one gold card, so we hit it on there. We got one double white. We need a double gold. Can we get a double gold? If we don't get it, then we definitely would have been better off going with a booster box. Nice Iono. You gotta get all your Ionos, pack them up, sell them in blocks of four. That's a play set. You can only have four of each card in your hand. TCG players need those Ionos. If you don't play, put one in your binder, sell the rest. Easily get five, six bucks, maybe even more. Um, selling them as a set of four, you can ship them on eBay for 60 cents. At the buyer's expense, they will not mind paying 60 cents in an eBay self stamped envelope. Comes with free tracking and $20 of insurance. Just make sure you pack it well. Pack it like you want someone to send you a card. All right, last five, no double gold. This is not, not looking good. Can we pull it off? Come on. I need that double gold. We got Mankey, Palma, and another Palma in the back. Nothing there. Just felt like skipping that one. <laughs> Last three. I don't think superior energy is going for very much. Um, it's under $10 for sure. The gold cards that are good have the Pokemon on it. We got Sableye in the back. Last two chances. <sighs> I think which one's heavier? Let's go with this one. I'm feeling, I'm feeling sad that we didn't pull it. Can we get some last two pack magic here? We got Raichu and Wigglytuff. Last pack magic, folks. Can we pull it off? We got Voltorb, Clavel, Dunspar, Super Rod, Pupitar, Faulkner, Viper. Oh, we got something. We got a single gold in the back, and it might be one that I wanted, but it's Tinka Tough. Can we do it? Can we do one more? 
No, hi dragons in the back. All right, so there you have it. Four illustrator rares. We did get the Tyranitar. We got the Tinka Tink that I was looking for for sure. Quaxley, Sandy Gas, another sleeper card. Looks super cool. Uh, we did get the five. Sorry, we got six EX cards, Slow King, Squawkabilly, Pikachu, Belly Bolt, GM Pow, and Skeledurge. We got the one gold card in the Superior Energy, and we got one super off centered double white in the Chiyu EX card. All in all, not too shabby. I took a gamble and went for it to see if I could get a couple of those really huge bangers and it didn't work out. All in all, I think the best bet is always a booster box. You're going to have the best distribution. You may get a little bit of favoritism from Pokemon uh, as they you know, try to disperse and get you some of those more guaranteed hits. Of course, it's not completely guaranteed, but the odds overall seem to be in your favor when you go for a booster box. You also always get the best deals per pack price. Uh, so when you can get a booster box versus a pack, I always recommend it. I always say, you know, if you think you're gonna spend $100 for a set, definitely spend it up front, get that booster box, you know, drag it out, open it up a little bit at a time, put it high on a shelf, Ask somebody to lock it up for you. Don't rip it all in one shot if you are trying to spread it out over the life of a of a set and uh, just enjoy it. You'll get the best bang for your buck. You'll pay the least amount for the packs and you'll have a great time. Anyways, I hope you had a great time. Those were my rips. Let me know in the comments what you think and have a great week and we'll catch you in the next video.